Hey guys, John here. Welcome to the new and updated course, How to Use SAR. This one has been one of my favorite synths for a long time. It's very aggressive, it's big sounding, it's dirty, it's it's pretty much all that you would imagine it to be, at least I hope. So the cool thing with this one is it's kind of limited, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It kind of gives you, uh, you have to be a little bit more creative to make some patches in this. So you have two oscillators. Think of it, you have a main one, and then you have a sub oscillator. You got some glide portamento over here. You have eight unison voices. Four filters, so you have a low pass 24, a low pass 12, a band pass, a high pass. You have one envelope section right here in the middle, and then you have your LFO section over here on the right. You have four effects, which is chorus, phaser, delay, and reverb. And then down here in the corner, you have an arpeggiator, which is actually really, really, really cool. And one thing that's nice about this synth as well is if you're not really into sound designing too much of it and you want something, just a cool patch, if you click up here, you can you can kind of go through all of these and they all sound actually pretty good. It's not one of those synths where it's like, oh, this is a cool synth, but a lot of the presets suck and you really have to work the synth. It's actually kind of the opposite. It is a good synth, but there are a lot of good uh, good patches in it. So definitely take some time and kind of listen to some of these as, some of these patches here as well. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about the general stuff and how to look through patches and the waveform and all that stuff. So look forward to that and we'll see you in the next one.